Servlet is a Java file which takes and process the request and in response provide a HTML file to the client. Today we're going to learn how to create servlet.java on Mac terminal and deploy to the Tomcat server through web.xml. Also we'll learn to access servlet from Tomcat server itself by using index.html. And finally we'll modify the content of existing servlet, verify if the latest changes are reflecting on the web page. Let's get started. Well, so let's start how to deploy servlet into Tomcat server. Before that, the precondition is the Tomcat and Java to be installed on macOS. If you'd like to know how to install Tomcat on macOS and how to start and stop, uh, there is a video uh, which is uh, having all step-by-step -step process, the installation, start and stop Tomcat server. I'll put link in the description. Then coming to the what you're going to uh, learn today, basically the step one, create a servlet.java under web-inf-classes, where the, all the utility, the servlet utility classes are located. So first we need to create a servlet.java. So let's go to the terminal and go to the root directory then go to the webinf slash classes. So to do that, cd doc, document tomcat Apache tomcat. So basically, what I'm doing, I'm going, I'm navigating to the tomcat where is installed. So Apache tomcat, then web app, then the example, then web inf classes so here so now here i'm going to create uh, the servlet.java um, which we're going to deploy into the tomcat so to do that the syntax is nano and the java file name so here i'll give my first servlet.java you can give anything you want so uh, this is just for my convenience i'm giving my first servlet.java so the terminal is open so now what you need to import all the packages to save the time i have already noted down the packages so what i'll do i'll copy those packages into here so let me copy those packages let's create the class the public class my first servlet then extends http servlet so here we're going to extend all the features like um, the do get do post all these things are uh, we're going to do um, inherit those features to implement into our class so to do that then let's now we define the do get so public void do get http servlet request request comma http servlet response response throws servlet exception io exception now let's set the content type so who's going to because it's an html file so we need to set the content type so to do that so on the response object response dot set content type is it should be text html then we need to do print writer what are you going to write print writer 
into the web test so print writer i out then from the response object response dot get writer so now we need to define what we're going to print into the web page so 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 this out dot print ln so i'll just create a html tag here so ht html html then body then double close bracket close semicolon then out dot print ln then let's let me create a paragraph here so p and say hello there from first sublet something like this so you can give anything you want so paragraph then close the bracket semicolon now close the body in html tag so out dot print ln first we need to close the body the slash then bracket then html slash double quotes bracket close semicolon now let's close this close this now our file is ready sublet dot java file is ready now what we need to do we need to save the file to save the file Control o then to come out from the terminal Control x so once you come out from the terminal now if i look verify if this java file is created so ls star dot java so now you could see my first servlet dot java has been created compiler java so what the syntax is java c and the uh, file name so now okay if we'll find like this problem that means the class path the subject jar file class path is not set has not been set it up so what to do that in on mac os so the syntax is java c hyphen class path then dot colon then the path where this the jar file so in my case it is user then this then then document tomcat apache tomcat and leave then sublet api jar so we need to uh, provide the path if it's a window you need to instead of class path you need to give hyphen cp c and p so after this you need to give the java file name so my for server to java enter so now you could see this compiled successfully so now if you like to verify if the class path has been created ls star dot class so now you could see my first servlet class is created so that's good now what um now let's go to our document and verify uh, so now first step we created this uh, created a java class then compile java class if error the setup class path we did it then step four compile java and this is created so it is generated is also verified now comes the step five so what we need to do configure servlet and servlet mapping the web dot xml so this is a very important step so what we need to do now um go to the wherever the tomcat is there so open the tomcat so you could see um which we created a class and java is also displaying here so what you need to go down here you'll find there's a web.xml so i'll open in the editor so i'm using brackets as an editor so i'll go, i'll go back to the editor now so now here you could see web xml so i need to define the sublet tag and sublet mapping tag so to do that so here um you can define like this if it is or i'm i'll just copy here already the format is there so i need to change the server name only so copy here so in, 
okay so hello world example i put my first servlet i'll copy this and paste it here now i'll do i'll go to the mapping part so it's in the here let's scroll down so here uh, the mapping part is you could see um servlet mapping so same way i'll copy here servlet mapping then i'll paste it here so here instead of hello world example i'll give my first servlet copy this and paste it here now save the file once this is done so let's go to um, our steps so now we need to start the um, the step six is six is start tomcat and verify the sublet page loading successfully to the browser so to start the tomcat server so we need to go to the bin path so to do that so what do we need to do cd dot dot and cd bin then set down first i'll set down dot then i'll start up set up the passage so when you see that it says the tomcat is started so now let's go to the browser so here type localhost 8080 so once you click it the tomcat page is loaded so now go to the example then click on servlet example so here i need to put servlet and the class what we have created my first servlet so we'll enter so you could see hello there my from first servlet when next step is configure index.html so uh, instead of coming here we can execute from this tomcat server first. so i'll show you now how we do that so let's go to let's go to um servlet here and here you could see there is an index.html so i'll open this file uh in my um, editor the brackets so let's go to the so you could see index.html so what do we need to do we need to the tr the table run tab, table data we need to put it there so already there the same format would be same so what i'll do i'll copy and paste here instead of hello world what i'll do i'll mention here my first servlet test something like this so here instead of hello world i'll put my first servlet then uh, here also my first servlet now save the file now let's go to the browser and type uh, localhost 8080 now go to example servlet so you could see my first servlet test is displaying now if you click on execute here is the what are the things uh, the sub, uh, the servlet content is loading to the web page so now one more thing we need to discuss suppose i want to change i would like to change the servlet uh, file and verify those changes are reflecting in this web page or not so let's go to the terminal again and uh, so let's go to the cd web apps examples web int classes so nano my first servlet java so here i would like to change this paragraph to italic so i then bold b then underline some underline sorry underline now i'll close those tags so first is i then then I'll close the B, then I close the U. 
so good now i'll save this file then come out from the file then i'll compile this file so this is the this is the syntax to compile file um it's compiled successfully so to now i need to restart the tomcat server so let's go to that path cd bean then set down the assets so now if i go to here just let me open a new browser so now uh, i'll start up the tomcat server so now you see you could see a tomcat started so now go to localhost 8080 so now go to examples servlet then my first servlet now you could see previously it was not there the italic underline now what are the changes we did is reflecting that's great thanks for watching if this content is useful for you don't forget to like and comment it means a lot to me see you next video Thanks again. Namaste.